what we have is um, the system at work in terms of indoctrinating us to be very backwards, to hate ourselves, um, and to have no resource in survival to blaming on people who look like them or people who aren't like them. And I think when you were talking about this cultural shift, even if abolition happens, we were discussing this actually, even if abolition happens tomorrow, even if we have all the material resources that we need to survive as a community, as a people across this nation, the richest country in the world, there's still a mental oppression that we will have to face and have to deal with. And that's what our communities deal with every day, that people who look like you, who can be an elder, um, who can be a single mother, uh, who can be somebody in your classroom, um, can look at you and unleash violence against you, whether it be verbal, mental, or physical. Um, and then to be in a system where it tells you that the only thing you can do is call 911 to deal with that issue, instead of bringing people in to maybe mediate that issue, instead of bringing people in to do political education.